All right, I want to add another 500 uh, gigabyte uh, SSD drive to this G37 power spec from Micro Center. So far, I've had it for a couple days and I've been using it, and it's really stable and fast. But I'm going to add some more storage to it, and we can get a better look on the inside. So uh, let's do that. So this is the first computer that I've ever had that I didn't build myself. This is the first one that I ever purchased as a uh, built computer. And so far, it's been pretty stable. Got a lot of airflow. I haven't thermally tested this yet, but I plan on doing that. Uh, but it looks to me like it's pretty open. You have a little filter here at the top where you could add extra exhaust fans, to blow the air out that way. Otherwise, you know, right now you're just a magnetic filter. Keep the dirt out. So anyway, what I want to do right now is I want to put another... A uh, bit of storage in here. And that's what we're gonna do. We'll have a better look at what's inside. It's got thumb screws, but they're really torqued down there. So this will expose cable management on the outside there. This here will give us access. The main board. Anything else that the end user may need. Tempered glass. So let's just kind of move that too. It's got a one terabyte M.2 Western Digital. Looks like the old 212 Cooler Master, but it's got a new design from what I understand. It's got a better uh, mounting plate and a better fan than what we've seen in the past. And it come equipped with G-Scale um, memory, Ripjaw 5. Very good memory, very fast. And uh, Intel Arc A770 GPU. Very clean. So yeah, let's get on to uh, installing that uh, drive. There are places for two uh, additional M.2s. Uh, you'd have to remove the video card for one of them. And as you can see right down here, maybe. That's M.2 slot number three. So you can expand it. And I see more SATA. One, two, three, four. So, uh, memory, our sto sorry, storage expansion is not a problem. It will support 64 gigs of RAM. Right now, currently, there's only 16 in there. So, yeah, let's get this uh, installed, and I'll see you when it's done. I'm going to share this with you because uh, it's all tidy. But they're going to make me work to get to that power cable and this uh, bracket here. This is the bracket I'm going to need to mount my drive. Uh, I got a two and a half inch SSD that needs to go in there. And uh, you see this power cable right down there? So I got to do a little bit of a disassembly to get to that, to get this cradle out to mount my drive and put it back in. But uh, other than that, still very impressed. All right, this is what I'm installing the SK, the SK Hynix solid state drive. This is a 500 gig. There. It's a very fast drive. So maybe you can see that information there. All right, the drive is in. I'm going to go hook this back up. Just so you know, if you're a gamer, especially with today's games, uh, terabyte of storage is what this comes stock with. Uh, you know, that'll get eaten up really quick, especially if you have like six, seven, eight games that you play regularly. All these games are huge because they're pushing a lot of bandwidth, graphics, audio, you name it. So, terabyte of storage, you might want to think about upgrading right away. I had that 500 terabyte drive, uh, sorry, 500 gigabyte drive sitting around, so I put it in here. So, we'll see how it goes. Let's go get this thing hooked back up. It's 
standing by. Order received. Just a few bruises. The envoys? Well, I'm glad you are here. We have a lot of work to do. My guild has set up camp next to the harbor, but I was cut off. We need to get as many people to safety as we possibly can. A ship is waiting for us, but we will be lost without the cartographer. Take a few of my men and check up on her house. <laughs> 